Hey guys, welcome back to a new reaction on this channel. Today I'm going to be react to the brand freaking new Oceans 8 Alaska song. Ontra, if I pronounce that right. I really hope I do. I'm sorry if not. <laughs> guys, it's been over a half year since we got the last Oceans 8 Alaska track. It was the track um, something with Hollow. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot the name of the freaking song. <laughs> I'm super sorry. Wait a second. Wait a second. Endless Hollow, of course. Sorry. <laughs> Endless Hollow. <laughs> um, really good song. I haven't really appreciated the song as much after my first time listening, but I'm honest. I listened to the song way more times, and with every time the song got better. And also in the last months, I saw Ocean's 8 Alaska Live. Um, I can't remember when it was, but it was a special guest for, I guess it was Currents. The problem is I really was just there to see Ocean's 8 Alaska, and after Ocean's 8 Alaska, I drove back home. I, I It sounds super mean to Currents. I, I usually like Currents. They're a really good band. The problem is between Ocean's 8 Alaska and Currents, there was Being As An Ocean, and I'm absolutely no Being As An Ocean fan, and to watch a full set of Being As An Ocean before you watch Currents, I didn't want to do that. I'm super sorry. <laughs> but what I can say is that Ocean's 8 Alaska sounds with the new singer really well. Um, of course, the older song sounds a little bit different with a new voice, but I also have to say that the singer of the new singer of Ocean's 8 Alaska, I don't know his name, I'm super sorry, is a freaking beast. He is a freaking beast. I have to say that. That was literally insane. <laughs> God freaking damn. So I'm super excited how the new songs with the new singer sounds like. Like I said, we just got Endless Hollow with him. And now we got the second song. Super excited. Uh -oh, Ocean's in Alaska. Ansra. Let's freaking go. I can't escape these waves. Wash over. Alright guys, I'm sorry to pause after the song is really short, it's not even 3 minutes long, but it is also a little bit typical Ocean's at Alaska. Of course they also got longer songs like Escapist, but also really short songs. Um, Alright, the song started definitely way more softer than I expected. Nothing really bad, because I also know that Ocean's at Alaska can really good doing also softer songs. For example, I guess it was Hikari, and also Huncher. Huncher is not the, not the heaviest one. Um, I know that, of course, the songs with uh, their first singer, or also former singer, because he was there in the, in the last record, uh, James, um, they are definitely way more heavier than with Jake, 
um, Jake was the singer they had in the Hikari record. Hikari was definitely a little bit softer, but in my opinion, maybe my favorite Ocean's Alaska record because it got a really awesome sound, really really cool. I also love the little bit Japanese style in there. Um, extremely amazing. Um, I usually thought that also with the new singer, now they will be a little bit more heavier because I... So his his clean voice sounds super good here. So don't get me wrong, but I also heard I I wasn't the biggest fan of his clean voice, especially from the older songs live. I have to say that I'm super sorry, um, but he he definitely got a good clean voice. So don't get me wrong. It it just felt a little bit different with the new clean voice and especially the older tracks, um, but t totally fine. Definitely, um. So, but I expected something more heavier. And like I said, I'm not disappointed or anything. Like I said, I know that Ocean's Alaska can do really great softer tracks, but his screams, especially these almost pig squeals he did there, what they were freaking amazing. God damn. Like I said, he is a freaking beast and I don't mean that in a, in a bad way or anything. He is freaking good, especially in screaming. God damn. He is doing that freaking insane. I can tell you that. If you haven't seen Ocean's Alaska live, do that. But I also can give you the chance to see them live when they have an own show. Because the problem I had, I missed so many songs. <laughs> I mean, they were just special guests and I know they had a short a short set with, with maybe even just a half hour or something like that. I missed definitely a lot of songs, especially a lot of older songs. They haven't played not much from the Lost Isle record. I don't know if they haven't played something from the Lost Isle record. Um... But uh, I hope they will do that when they are coming on a own tour. Because they played, for me, they played a little bit too much newer stuff. But, hey, that's just, just my opinion. And the problem is, of course, when you're a really, a really big fan, especially since the beginning or really early, um, sometimes the band doesn't play these old songs anymore. And that's super sad, but it is how it is. And that's nothing, nothing bad. But yeah, we go a little bit back. Let's go back to Ocean's Alaska. That was Ocean's 8 Alaska with the new song Ansra. And I have to say, definitely a good song. Usually I would say now, A, maybe not my favorite Ocean's 8 Alaska song because I still missed something. The problem is I also said that with Endless Hollow. I guess I just need a couple more time with that song. Because that was the same with Endless Hollow. And in general, I, I realized that this is happening with a lot of Ocean's 8 Alaska songs. The very first Ocean's 8 Alaska song I ever heard was Floorboards. And when I heard Floorboards the first time, I wasn't a big a big fan of the song. But then I heard that song two times, three times, four times, five times. And with every single time more, I thought that song became more awesome. <laughs> For real. So, and th the same thing happened with Endless Hollow now. And I guess with a lot of other Ocean's at Alaska tracks, I guess the only song that really caught me directly from the beginning was um, Covert. If I pronounce it right, or covered, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. One of my, or maybe my favorite Ocean's at Alaska song. Um, also, um, a freaking song from Dust Isle. But I really like that because of the lyrics, but I, for, I forgot the name of it. I'm super sorry. <laughs> I really am. There's definitely a Lost Isle song I really like, and also the Metamorph song the first song they got with usually james is back and stuff like that but we you know that 
haven't aged well. Um, yeah, <laughs> but still, like I said, usually I would say not my favorite Ocean's Eight Alaska song, maybe because it's too soft or whatever. But in the end, give me a couple more times with that song, and I will freaking love that. Like Endless Hollow, I promise you that that will happen. <laughs> Like with almost every single Ocean's Eight Alaska song, and I'm super excited about that. It's not that I'm not excited about to listen to that song way more times. I'm super excited about that. I'm definitely excited about that, that the song will freaking grow on me with the next times listening. All right. All right, guys, that was the new Ocean's Eight Alaska song, Onsra. If you haven't checked out my other Ocean's Eight Alaska song reactions, if, if, if have I, I just did one, right? The last one. Right, I guess. So if you haven't checked out Endless Hollow, my reaction to that, I will give you the link to the video right now in the outro. Just click on the link on the screen and you can watch it. If you want to talk about Ocean's Eight Alaska with me or the whole community, join our community Discord. Link is down in the description. You can join any time. You can talk about anything you want. It'd be cool to see you there. And then I hope I see you guys again in another reaction. Would be awesome. And I say bye.